All right, guys, so looks like we got some pretty interesting and exciting news on our hands here. Looks like uh, Dragon Ball Heroes is actually going to collab with Dragon Ball Legends. Now, uh, just really quick, just to clarify in the very beginning of the video, this is only happening on one side. So it looks like whatever, you know, is happening in Dragon Ball Heroes, which is going to be an event. That's what you see. Right, uh, that's what you guys see right there is the UGM2. That's an event that's going to take place around I would say ballpark summertime. It's still not official, uh, but it's going to be in Dragon Ball uh, Heroes side. Nothing is confirmed whatsoever so far in the Dragon Ball Legends side. So, um, like I said, this this is very exciting, guys, because you know, although it's only confirmed on one side, you know, th the opportunities are endless in terms of character selections uh, to come to Dragon Ball Legends if they do decide to take that path. Uh, which I believe is very, very, very possible. Now, let's just really quickly uh, discuss on why they're not going to reveal anything for Dragon Ball Legends as of right now. Now, for starters, this actually gets revealed, um, you know, for Dragon Ball Heroes summertime. So if, or just before summertime. So if it gets revealed for Dragon Ball Heroes summertime and they reveal for Dragon Ball Legends today, that's a huge spoiler for Dragon Ball Legends. So I don't see that happening um, you know, for them to j just to spoil months ahead of what's to come to Dragon Ball Legends. That's not what they do for gacha games. Now, really quick, like I mentioned, the opportunities are absolutely endless. And as far as Dragon Ball Heroes goes, we clearly know that Dragon Ball Legends has about, I would say, three to five main characters, right? We have obviously Shallot, we got Giblet, we got Zaha. And if you want to toss in Boma and Jaco in the mix, you could do so as well. But, you know, that, that's really exciting for, you know, for the opportunity of Dragon Ball Legends because we've already collabed with Dragon Ball, uh, you know, uh, Fighter Z. We've already, actually, Dragon Ball Kakarot as well. So, um, I'm really excited for collabs. Collabs really just, it, it expands the game to a certain extent. So, really quick, guys, let's discuss exactly what possibilities of characters and, you know, the, like I mentioned, my third time today in this video the, po the possibilities are absolutely endless. So let's discuss exactly the possibilities that we can see uh, coming to uh, Dragon Ball Legends. Now, like I mentioned, this might come summertime. Might. Nothing is confirmed. I'm confirming that once again. Nothing is confirmed yet. So, um, you know, let's just discuss because they got some really wild characters, man. Uh, they got some really interesting, wild, and weird characters at the same time. That's my best description of Dragon Ball Heroes. But nonetheless, take a look at this. If I had to pick my main character, I'm going to show you about 11 characters here uh, in Dragon Ball Legends format with Heroes uh, collaboration. So uh, we obviously see here God Trunks. Now, if we get God Trunks, guys, this would not only mean hybrids. This was not, this would not only mean, uh, you know, uh, Dragon Ball Heroes, because I'm pretty sure they would develop their own tag. But this would also include hybrids and much more. So, yeah, really just fun stuff. That's the word I'm looking for. It's just fun. Um, you know, now, you know, this is obviously not canon at all whatsoever. You know, you can even say Super Saiyan 4 Goku is much, much more canon than this. This is just wild. I, like, at first, when I first saw all of this, I, I thought it was pretty ridiculous. But, you know, and I don't follow along. I still kind of think it's ridiculous to some certain extent on some certain characters. But you can't deny these look pretty cool, guys. So that's my number one pick, Super Saiyan God Trunks. Next up, we also have, you know, Time Breaker Bardock, guys. Time Breaker Bardock. Like I said, you know, these just keep getting cooler and cooler and cooler because this is the kind of like, it's you know, you know what I like to compare it to? I like to compare it to fan art from, you know, an official Dragon Ball, you know, you know, artist. So it's a, it, it's a Dragon Ball artist, an official Dragon Ball artist with fan art. So that's what I like to, you know, kind of quote it as, but it looks really good. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Timebreaker Bardock would be absolutely sick. Just take a look at that, guys. I mean, it, it doesn't get any better than that, or maybe it does. So uh, we also have Super Saiyan 4 Broly here. Now, this is also really good. I mean, take a look at this. Like I said, this just keeps getting better and better and better. Now, by the way, comment down below who you guys would want for, uh, for Heroes. And I did, all these were actually posted on a video uh, I got done 12 months ago or 11 months ago about a possible Dragon Ball Heroes collab with Dragon Ball Legends. So I did make a video on this 11 months ago. So this is nothing new in my in, in my channel. So uh, yeah, that one's really cool. Next up, we also got Zeno Grand, or not Zeno, but we'll get to that one. <laughs> Grand Priest Goku. Now, this outfit is probably the sickest looking outfit you can give Goku, honestly. Like in, in terms of just giving outfits out, I would so take this for Shala even. 
yeah dude this for shallow would probably be the coolest outfit you can give a unit honestly this just looks so professional and clean at the same time i don't know how to describe it absolutely wild and beautiful but yeah guys next up we also do have golden metal cooler now we all know that uh you know lineage of evil and all that good stuff is you know limited limited to a certain extent because there's not that much characters and this would be pretty cool because it would open up the gates uh now we also do have final form cooler and stuff like that he's just not on this concept itself now we also do have super saiyan 4 vegeto Whew. Man, there's Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, and then there's Limit Break Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. So, yeah, uh, pretty wild, like I said. Um, yeah, these are absolutely not canon whatsoever, but all of these look absolutely fire, and I would be open arms to taking any of these in Dragon Ball Legends, and I'm pretty sure a majority of us would too, just because it looks really cool. Now, whether it's anniversary worthy, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's like a Dragon Ball Legends versus uh, Heroes collaboration for... Uh, the fourth anniversary, which is May 31st, June 1st. So just about three months away, guys. That's going to snap by really fast. I'm telling you, it's going to fly by. I remember when I was like three months away from Black Friday and three months away from Christmas. I kept on telling you guys. But uh, next up, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. Now, once again, another <laughs> sick art. Like, I'm, I'm just telling you guys, these don't end. Like, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, Super Heroes or Dragon Ball Heroes has so much phenomenal cool stuff just cool stuff i would say right they got ridiculous stuff and cool stuff there's nothing in between there so uh, next up like i mentioned before we got xeno goku now this outfit for shallot would be badass as well so i'm not quite sure if i'm allowed to say that but this would be really really cool uh yeah man the I, i'm just saying i'm just in love with these uh characters uh next up we got a uh, big bad if you guys don't follow along cumber uh or whatever you want guys want to pronounce it is uh also a really cool unit uh that got you know short timing uh superheroes as well or hero dragon ball heroes super dragon ball heroes that's the correct pronunciation so uh yeah next up we also got xeno kid boo now like i said these just absolutely make no sense and they're cool at the same time and ridiculous all at the same time all mashed in at one but once again i would be 100 percent open arms to all of these and we also do have hearts Hearts is another big bad from uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes as well. A lot of people seem to love him. There's a really cool clip of him as well if you guys want to go YouTube it. Really, really cool. Um, you know, and this, like I mentioned, is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. It really, really is. Um, like, like I say, you know, take a look at this, uh, you know, God Trunks here with the, uh, with the sword. Really, really cool. Uh, you know, golden final form cooler. We got Super Saiyan 3 Gold Tanks. Super Saiyan 3 Gold Tanks Adults. I mean, guys golden golden great ape cumber look at that we got super saiyan 4 gohan which we mentioned uh we also got janimba black guys janimba black how cool is that as a matter of fact he's technically in the game as a counterpart uh counterpart outfit when you guys run two janimbas at the same time which is really cool super saiyan 4 bardock that's another one right there uh really cool ultimate adult golden guys ultimate adult golden these are crazy and then super saiyan 4 broly master unruly power so yeah like i said these are really wild um yeah <laughs> that's wild is the word to describe it now um guys by the way i will be also making a a video on how how for you guys to set up and get ready for legends battle royale extreme now this i'm gonna make a video on later on tonight and post it probably tomorrow morning as well i'm actually i'm absolutely excited for this this is probably the most sweaty thing in dragon ball legends i'll explain how it works i'll explain how the rewards work and what teams you guys should bring in as well but guys if you did enjoy the video always make sure to smash that thumbs up button and of course you know uh you know turn on notifications because i post here daily everything dragon ball legends so yeah catch you guys on the next one have a good one peace